The eyebrow raising, insane, antisocial, bizarre, weird, old, ugly. The list goes on, but no matter what, I will always be the one, the only, Mad Material Man. And how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. It's Friday night. It's time for our usual episode. And I do have to begin the show by apologizing. I was hoping to get a few things posted this week. However, I had another... Uh, how can I put it this way? Incident. Yes, I had an incident downstairs in my office cave. So it happens when you have nothing but things in boxes and boxes and boxes. All it takes is one box at the bottom to go. No! Major collapse of stuff. So I had to spend most of my time when I wasn't job hunting doing cleanup. I need shell. That's all I've got to say. I need lots of shells. You're also thinking, yeah, I know. I need I need psychiatric help. I know. I also need a job and a social life. Well, that's besides the point. At least I can laugh at myself after I wake up in the morning, look at the mirror, and cry myself. <sighs> okay, I don't cry to myself. I'm a man. I don't cry. I just go, shit, I'm ugly. But what's not ugly today is what we have to review. No, no, no. We've got four action figures for you today. Two of them, as you can guess, are Flash-related. I figure, why not? Hey, at least we're only going to do one figure for an entire hour. No, we do four figures for about 40 minutes each. No, <laughs> no I won't do that to you. But today, we're going to start off with one that's been bringing up a lot of controversy. The Rival. So we'll start by taking a look at Rival today. I have my own opinion on the character. But then, of course, we'll do another one that's been raising some controversy. The DC Rebirth Wally West, The Flash. Yeah, I know. If you watched my Toy Hunt videos, you saw that I got the Platinum Edition of this guy, Steel. And before you ask, no, I'm not going to open up both of them and do a comparison One's open. I'll open him up. I'll talk about him. The other one will just be open and put on my shelf. You don't need to see him. But we'll talk about him. And of course, the one that I wish I had the variant to, which I don't. I can't seem to find it. I want to get it. <sighs> yeah. Can't find the blue. I can't find him. And I've looked. <sighs> but uh, what do you say? We start with the rival. So I'm going to get... This scalpel. Oh, it still has blood on it. Let's take him out of the package and we'll be right back. As you saw in the close-up, I obviously switched the hands out. He comes with the, you know, the flat racing hands. I don't like. I don't want the fist either. And before I get into the actual figure, I'm actually tired of the effects that they give for speeders. You know what I'd like to see? Instead of having these clumpy ones, just have one that you can attach. It's like a nice big long lightning streak. That would be a cool lightning effect, you know. An extra nice long lightning effects like long so that was basically from here to here put like four of those or five of those in the package instead of these clumpy things anyone does 3d printing let me know if you can print up long lightning effects in different colors just saying but uh let's actually get to the figure itself let me just put that down now of course it comes with the usual discs and i notice a lot more people are doing what i do 
Except I actually point out, Mr. McFarlane, these bases suck. So that's for the figure themselves. Well, with the creepy hands, like that's such a better look with the hands like that. Uh, well, I'm not going to go in the posability. It's a typical flash body. It's very posable. I will say a couple things. I, I kind of want to get my hands on another one. Just because I want to do a head swap with the regular Jay Garrick Flash. Because these colors, I think, are better color for Jay Garrick Flash. It does. I mean, I have the Jay Garrick Flash downstairs on my Flash section of my display. But it's very, like, pale blue. This would be a nicer Jay Garrick Flash. Especially from Jay Garrick Flash, how he appears more in the more recent comic books that he's been in the past couple years. He's wearing a darker blue, darker red. This is more a Jay Garrick flash. I mean, that's Jay Garrick, right? It's the same. But I can see where the controversy comes from. Apart from the colors being much darker. I mean, it is the rival. I mean, the rival is not a new character. I saw one review where the person was saying, Oh, I never heard of this character before. Well, he's not as popular, but he is a Jay Garrick rival from way back in the golden age. And no, I'm not that old yet. It may be an extra, but I'm not a boomer. But yeah, so he is not a new character. Actually, even in the, um, I think it was Flash 1750, they brought back the rival as well. But the controversy is mostly stemming from that. The face. The Joker grin. The Joker nose. And I can see where they're coming from. That mouth makes me think, oh, it's a Jokerized Jay Garrick. The lightning effect in the eyes, I have to agree. I don't like it. It's, It would only work if you actually had them running towards you and that with that, all those extra stuff on it. I wish they would have done an alternate head. It's just one of the ones where they should have included, instead of having freaking four glob lightning effects, do an alternate head where he doesn't have the grin or, you know, the eyes. The body itself, I like. It's a, like I said, this I want this for a Jay Garrick, a proper Jay Garrick. That would be a great looking Jay Garrick. It would. It would look nice. Um but uh, yeah. All the negatives aside, you know, if, if you just take away this, it is actually a good character. It's a cool looking design. I like the fact they didn't try anything different. They didn't try to say reverse the lightning bolt or make it come down. But no, so that's not not bad, not bad. It's a nice start for you know not just Professor Zoom or Reverse Flash or well Flash has got a rogues gallery of other speedsters. Yeah, it would be cool to see. I know this is really stretching it. Mark Hamill as the trickster from the original Flash TV show. I would love to see that. That would be fantastic. <sighs> But uh, what do you say we move on from the past, from the Golden Age into the, what the hell you even call it nowadays? Okay, Golden Age, 40s, Silver Age was until like the 60s, then it was the Bronze Age, and it was the Modern Age. I don't know, what, what would you, I don't know what to call this New Age of Comics. The, uh, oh, let's, let's not care about stories or continuity or actual customer age. Okay, I'm going to be a bit harsh, but... Um, Wally West, as the Flash, let's take him out of the package and we'll uh, see if we agree or disagree with the controversy about him. Okay, no spare hands, no spare head. Once again, four lighting things. But you can imagine, take this effect, but elongate it so it goes from bottom to top. That would be a much cooler effect, much better for display. Eh, one day. I need a 3D printer, that's what I need. Print up my own stuff. But let's get into Wally West 
as the Flash and the controversy therefore in. Now the body, we've all seen the Flash body before. It is. It's the same Flash body. I like the Flash body. I like the details. I do wish though that the colors were a bit more even with the boots and the emblems, but a little bit of gold wash paint, I'll fix that if I want to. So that's the controversy for him. Well, very similar to the rival. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what people are complaining about is twofold. They don't like the, the smile on his face. Because even I have to admit, it is kind of, you wouldn't run ah, with your mouth open. So it's kind of limits in some ways what you're going to pose him as. Because you can't pose him running with his mouth open because at those speeds, can you imagine the amount of bugs? You have a mouth like mine. <laughs> and... Um, the other thing they complained about was the dark circles around his eyes. I don't mind that as much. I don't mind because it makes me think, okay, it's like Batman lenses over his eyes. I don't mind that. The smile on his face, yeah, it is a bit, uh, it is a bit much because it does. I mean, if you're posing them, say you're making a Titans display, which I still want a proper cyborg for, and you're posing them with the rest of the Titans, yeah, then he's smiling for the picture. That makes sense. That's probably how I'm going to pose him because I agree. I don't like the smile on his face. I don't. It just, the eyes I don't mind, but the smile on his face, not bad. If you're posing him like this, like he's saying hi. The other thing is too, the hands, no, no other hands, no grippy hands. Just one fist and one open palm. High five. How you doing? I'm with, see, see, it's a, it's a posing Wally. He's posing for pictures. Okay. Now, before I get on to Steel, there is another controversy that's brewing this week. And uh, do I really want to get into it? Yeah, I do. Now, as you all know, not too long ago, I, I, I thought it was it last season, I said I would really like to see a dark side that's comic book looking. And of course, McFarlane's doing it. They're doing one. But this is where the controversy comes up. I've seen a few people post about this already. Um, mostly in the States. In Canada, yet yeah, we don't know what's going to happen because, as you know, being in Canada, we get things at a weird schedule. Yeah. <laughs> we get stuff, like, for example, the Ghost of Krypton, we're already out in the States. We got them a month later. It's the same thing for pre-order things. I have a, something that's already out in the States for about a month. It's coming out on Saturday. I already pre-ordered it, so I'm getting it. But it's just one of those weird things with scheduling. So when it comes to dark side in Canada, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm hoping going to get one because the people at GameStop, you know I was going to plug them, know that I want this stuff, especially uh, the, the ones at the Rito Center. Casey and Chris, shout out. But the controversy I'm seeing in the States right now is that the four places that list it, uh, Amazon.com, McFarlane Store, of course, um... GameStop and a store that I hate mentioning because they don't sponsor me, but you know, big bad something toys, whatever. They have them all on their websites as pre-orders. All their pre-orders are sold out. But that's not the controversy. That's happened before. Where I look at Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is probably what's happening again because Wonder Woman was announced. Everyone went nuts in the pre-orders, and of course, by the time it finally came out, no one could get any. And, of course, the second value market, like, you know, the eBay shoppers had to pay tons of money to get them off these guys who basically scalped them off. Well, the same thing seems to be happening with Darkseid. I actually went on eBay myself just to see if it was true or not. And, yeah, it is. You have people on eBay selling at twice, sometimes three times, the amount of the pre-order. And they're calling it a pre-order to sell themselves. That does kind of piss me off because for the collectors out there who can't afford to spend twice the value for an action figure or they can't afford to, you know, try to get lucky, get one at a store, it kind of bugs me. And like I said, in Canada, something's a bit different. I mean, Wonder Woman's a good example, though. Pre-orders got canceled for Canada because all the orders for the States got sold out. Now, hopefully... McFarlane Toys says, hey, you know what? We can make this thing valuable 
on the second and third markets, or we'll be smart, we'll make more of them and sell more. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see for that. But that's the Contra this week, and you know, I'm not too happy about it because it's one action figure I've been wanting for a long time. It's a mega figure, and I want it. So hopefully my pre-order doesn't get canceled. If it does, well, I am not going to go overly crazy and try to get one off these people who are gouging the market on on eBay. I will just wait, wait, and wait, and eventually I'll probably get one. Worst case, I'll buy one from the movie because they're dropping in price now. By the way, if you haven't noticed, those have dropped in price a lot. I'll get one from the movie, and I'll just turn it into my version of Dark Side. But all that said, what do you say we take a look at Steel? Not this one. I'm not going to do one. Look, let's look at both of them. No, I will take this one out, but he'll go on my shelf so I can enjoy him. Plus the fact most people are going to get this Steel. Good old red, silver with a blue tint. So let's take him out of the package and we'll see what we think of uh, the man covered in Steel. can be deceiving he's actually pretty bigger than he looked okay i'm sorry i had to do it i have to find some use with this monstrosity that i've had in my life for so many years yeah but you know compared to this this steel is decent looking let me just put this monstrosity down oh. wow okay, I, guess. I even tried to sell that years ago no one wanted to buy it now, if it was signed by you know who, of course it would sell. But all right, but let's get back to steel. <sighs> to begin with, uh, I like the length of the hammer handle, and it was a nightmare getting this thing out of the package. It, <laughs> I mean, only one little plastic thing to cut on his hand, oddly enough. But uh, overall, I have no. I actually am more surprised how much I actually like this. At first, I'm thinking, okay, it's a very plain character. I'm not going to be... It'll, it'll go. It'll be nice in the collection. Let's put it away. But now that I have it in my hands, I actually do like it a lot more than I thought I was. You can't really see it too well, but other people have noticed as well. There is a blue wash over the gray, which does make me think of steel. I grew up in a construction family, so I kind of know what sort of polished steel can look like after a while. The face sculpt, I like a lot. It actually seems very appropriate. Because it'd just be a thin covering on the face. I do have to admit the uh, the feet are a bit wonky and weird. But it's a good way of hiding. I can see why they did it. It's a good way of hiding the toe joint. I do wish it would have been an S on the back though. I'm one of those people. If you're doing a Superman cape or a Superman related cape. Put the S on the back. Can you imagine a nice gray S on the back? I can't. I can't. Now, this is one um, I do recommend if you see it, pick it up. Uh, it's surprisingly enjoyable. It really is. I won't even mind at this point. At first, I was thinking, oh, because they're going to do his sidekick, his daughter. I wouldn't mind now if they did her. It would look like a nice combination. It would look good to have them both together again. My only complaint, I think, maybe is the size of the wrist. His armor, his, like, ribbit shooter. It's minor. I just think that it's, uh, it could have been maybe not as thick. But then again, it's a piece of plastic. They toss on up a pre-molded arm. But no, I do like it. I'm happy I got steel. It's, just, it's a nice addition to the Superman family. It really is. Because I already missed out on the, uh, the thing that came out last year. The Eradicator. Basically, you know, the Death Superman ones. I missed out on those. I never got the Superman with the mullet. Never got the Superboy 
Well, I have I have I have a Superboy, but it's the Connor Kent one. I don't really have the one that I really wanted, and I don't have, of course, the Cyborg Superman that came out last year. I do have the new Cyborg Superman coming out, though. That'll be nice, especially if I can find that Brainiac drone. That's the funny thing is, I've been toy hunting, right? Whole bunch of stores. Every single store I have, if they have the Ghost of Krypton Wave, they've only got the the variant, like the Platinum Edition. No one seems to have the Brainiac drone, the regular edition, or Superman from Earth 2, regular. It's funny how Ottawa got, here, Ghost of Krypton, Platinum! Here you go. The same can't be said for this guy. Now, I have heard of some places getting the blue. Okay, McFarlane. Totally sucks. Steel just fell. Standing straight. Boop. Well, he's still in one piece. But before I get too far off topic, because, yeah... Some places have gotten the blue. Some GameStops have gotten the blue. But because this is a pre-order, you didn't know which one you're going to get. The same thing happened with Superman Red and Blue. Some people got the Red Superman, didn't get the blue. <laughs> Lucky bastards. And some people got the blue and not the red. Lucky bastards. <laughs> Excuse me. Dust from downstairs. I was downstairs, of course, today trying to get that incident cleaned up man i need shells Whew. oh but uh let's take azrael out of the package and see what i think of yeah, it's it's not the colors i would want i preferred the blue but it's what i got so let's take him out and take a look <laughs> As you saw in the close-up, I want to get this over with right off the bat. This is totally useless for this guy. I mean, more so than usual. The weight of his wing spikes are so great that you either have to leave him come forward in a weird position, or he's just going to fall back. It, it useless. But then let's talk about the figure. Now, I don't mind the red and gold combination. I actually think it looks good, even with the gray. I do wish they would have done maybe a red highlight down here. You know, tie in the red to the red. Or maybe even gold on the, on the like, the leg spikes would have been nice. I think it would have been nice. Um, the other thing I also find a bit weird is the hands are silver. Silver hands? Okay, I guess they're doing the comic book, but it's just a weird choice, even for the comic book, to have gold, red, gray, silver. But that's just me. Uh, it would have been nice to have open hands. That's my complaint mostly about the hands. They're fists. To me, if they're going to give me one set of hands, give me the claw hands. It would have been a better choice for the hands. So that's my complaint about the hands. That's actually my only complaint about this figure is the hands. I can live with the gray. I can live with the fact these are not articulated. It's the hands. It would have been nice to have that instead. Kind of like the hands from Rival. Open hands with the claws would have been so much cooler on this guy. Now that's one of the things people are complaining about. Um, uh, I, I do admit, I, I've seen pictures of the blue one. It looks nice. But people are complaining about, you know, how the wings are articulated. And I can see why, because they could have done articulation on this. Let me just take one wing out. 
to take a look at that, they could have done like a ball joint here. So you'd be able to move the wings up and down, up and down. And I'm sure there are people out there who are customizers who are going to do exactly that. They're going to basically scan these in a 3D printer. They're going to basically cut this part out and insert a bendable ball joint so that when you put it in, you can be able to move it up and down, up and down, which I think McFarlane could have done. They could have charged a little bit more for the figure if they would have done that. But overall, I am not going to complain. Now, is this going to replace my favorite Azrael? No, no. The, the older Azrael, the blue and gray, which is to me the way Azrael should look, I like. I don't even mind the ones with the flaming torches. They're kind of cool as well. This one, well, number one, I, I don't remember the storyline for this. I don't. The uh, Knight's End, I don't remember the storyline for that. I'm not even sure if I even have it. But uh, I'm happy I got them. It'd be nice if I had the blue one. The blue and red. You know, nice little bookends. But yeah, that's... Uh, overall, it's, it's an interesting one. I, I'm surprised at how articulated this is. I was actually pleased that the head's not like stuck in place. One thing that would have been cool... This is one of those reasons why I should never have started customizing action figures again. Because I look at something like this, I'm going, we need a Jean-Paul head. We need an unmasked Azrael head. That'd be so cool. Swap out the head swaps. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I know, I know, I know. I'm just trying to put him back in his base to give you an idea. He's not. I have to lean him against something. Uh, well, for those of you who care and who've been watching the show, thank you, by the way, you loyal few who actually put up with my antics and craziness here, the different way of doing toy reviews. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, what I have to say? Well, thank you, of course. Uh, some of you may have seen I've started doing customs with the Kryptonian universe. Now, starting next week, I will be filming episodes of the Kryptonian universe basically not not like story-wise but for like background and we'll take a character like for example we'll take Bruce Wayne here and we'll talk about why he's different in the Krypton universe than say for example the regular universes I mean this is a simple custom this is a head swap custom but there's a reason why I did this one uh, the entire Kryptonian bat family has gotten very large But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it sort of like once a week there'll be an episode where I'm going to talk about the actual universe as a whole. Like what separates. Like episode one will be like a back a backstory. Like, you know, this is what happened in this universe that made the changes. Why did Krypton not explode? Why did I have a Daxamite as Superman? That'll all be explained in the first episode. Then, of course, the following episodes will look at individual figures. Like we'll look at the Kryptonium. Kryptonian. The Kryptonian, as he is when he first appears, and when I do phase two of the storyline, you'll see the Kryptonian as he's going to look down the road. We'll also do the same thing when I get to the Batman family of the Kryptonian universe. We'll have an episode where we're going to talk about the changes or what's different about the Batman of this Kryptonian universe and why things are different. Like, for example, in the current DC universe, Young Bruce Wayne saw his parents die at the age of 10. That's changing in my universe. Yeah. There's still going to be a mugging. There's still going to be a shooting. His parents are still going to be involved. But he's not going to be 10. Yeah, we're changing things around a little bit. It's the same thing for... Uh, I just, I'm currently working on a custom of my version of the Flash. Thus the shirt as well. Um, however, I... Probably going to use a name I came up with for a concept back when... Well, if you guys ever saw my videos on my other channel, I had a concept called The, Sac the Sacrifice, where it was basically a story how to bring back Barry Allen after they killed him off. And he came back as a new character. And I called that character The Fast. And I'm thinking about using that name. I might change the name, but that's sort of like the design I'm going for. I'm also looking at... Um, Bringing back a couple other characters that you might not have thought of. Um, I just picked up a couple of bodies 
head swap and some detailing paint to make those characters that would be part of the bat family but yeah we're gonna go into all that the reason why i'm mentioning it it's not gonna be here on the peg no no on the peg is mostly for me talking about stuff like this and of course a little a couple of rants about Colin, about 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 sort of like the the toy industry right now and you know, a few things like that. I'm going to bring my customs to a different channel. I haven't created the channel yet, so I'm not sure what it's going to be called. But it's going to be a channel I'm also eventually be doing my drawing designs and concepts as well. Uh, for those of you who know me on Facebook, know fully well I had a page called, well, I still have the page, called Paradox Concepts, which was where I would basically look at my versions of other characters mostly DC but some Marvel characters as well I also had another one called comic book concepts where it was my own designs those sort of became sub immersed under the CDC Canadian Defined Comics Facebook page and that's probably where I'll be posting the videos first will be on Facebook under Canadian Defined Comics one of my pages if I make a YouTube channel for it I will of course give you guys the link in next Friday's video here but it's something I'm, I'm working on just because I want to keep it separate it's the same reason why I don't do the Mad Montreal Man channel stuff here that is for its own channel even that channel itself I should technically break it up into different things but that's it ah was long-winded speech there but um, I'm having fun doing the customs it's you know I'm not going crazy I don't have a 3d printer I wish I had one Maybe I should start a Patreon. I don't know. Or a GoFundMe. A GoFundMe probably better. Because Patreons... My ex-wife was bugging me to look into... Them. Rant! Rant! Rant time! Yes, rant. She's telling me I should start selling my customs and all this stuff. And I tried to explain to her. I do the customs for me as a way of expressing my ideas. Uh, she said I should start a Patreon. She's almost like, no, no Patreon. The reason why I don't like Patreon is because this is entertainment for you. It's also entertainment for me. This is. So I'm not going to do a Patreon to force you guys to pay for something that's free on YouTube anyway. You already have to watch ads. So no, I won't do a Patreon. Her idea about a GoFundMe, I, I kind of don't mind it as much. You know, GoFundMe to get shells, proper displays, and maybe a 3D printer. I'll think about it. You know, it's one of those things where it really depends if I get a job sooner or later. Hopefully sooner. But I'll think about that because it would be nice to... Uh, just instead of just doing like head swaps and adding a few accessories here and there and doing paints and so forth to actually be able to print up certain things I would like to see. Like, like for example, a Jean-Paul head. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but no, I'll have to wait. So rant's over. Uh, so thank you guys all for once again watching the show, putting up with my madness, my random thoughts. My going off script, not that things ever scripted really. You even put up with my editor and their weird comments, even though sometimes I think that editor hates me. But no, it's uh, as I always like to say from the scarred, broken remains of my barely beating heart, thank you for watching the show from the deepest, darkest recesses of my deafening darkness. Dying soul. <laughs> Thank you for watching the show. It gives me something to do. And of course, doing this for me is part of my way of basically taking care of myself. And when I take care of myself, one of the ways I do it, of course, is by doing this for you. And also, when I know that you guys are doing well, you, you guys are just taking care of yourselves. You guys are doing your best to stay healthy. Because that's important. Because if you're not healthy, you can't enjoy toys. And I'll tell you one thing. With some of the people I saw toy hunting in the last little while, ooh, these people definitely need to get a different way of staying healthy than just like sitting in their basement playing video games and watching anime that you know, I don't want to mention and eating food. Yeah, some scary people out there. I mean... When I worked at a comic book store in Montreal, we had a ping pong table. Great way to stay healthy. 
Even in Vancouver, when I had my own store, or I went to my buddy's stores, we all stayed healthy. I'm doing it a lot today. But what I'm seeing here, it's uh, Simpsons comic book guy. A lot of this. And not just guys. It's terrifying. Uh, but uh, all that aside, <laughs> please do your best. Find that one thing in life, or two, or three, or four, or five, that will help you to stay happy. And something I have to do every day, and I encourage everybody to do that every day, find something, something that no matter how bad and depressing having to deal with stuff like this is, do your best to stay positive. And on that note, I'll see you guys. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go. Hit like, if, please. Makes me feel better. Uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, I won't tell you to hit the bell notification thing for this week because stuff happened and I'm still cleaning up that incident of having literally this, like, boxes of books fall down and, yeah, I need shelves. But uh, definitely come in next week on Friday night, of course, to see the next episode of On the Peg. Uh, what we're reviewing next week, I have no idea. Probably the Plastic Man wave. I was hoping to wait until I can track my hands on a Red Superman. That's not going to happen. So I guess next week we'll look at good old Plastic Man wave. And until then, I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. Uh, hopefully it's nice where you are. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy good company. And uh, I'll see you uh, sooner than you think. As you saw in the close-up, I did swap the hands out. He originally, where his house. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Really? Really? I'm filming. Don't call me when I'm filming. Don't you just love spam calls? Your phone goes, it's a spam call. It knows it's a spam number, but it still buzzes and rings you anyway. Go away. It made filming that close up very, very interesting and challenging. But uh, let's take a look at him, shall we? Simplified a bit. I think they're totally useless. You stayed and watched the credits again, didn't you? That's okay. I had a fun thought while I was unpacking Azrael. <laughs> Can you imagine if someone has one of those laser cutters that cuts sheets of metal? Yeah! <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Mm -hmm. Nice evil thought of the day. But uh, thanks for watching the show. Thanks for watching the credits. And we'll see you uh, next week.